Hey everyone, welcome to another data tech solution video. Let's imagine we want to visualize a roadmap such as this um, and essentially connect a couple of coordinates on a map in and have that visualization as an output. And um, also we want to be able to visualize different pieces of elements here. So essentially the goal of this tutorial video is to visualize uh, any roadmap, any, any set of coordinates given that we have those coordinates um, and we want to use this in Python um, the data sample that we have it could be any series of coordinates that you may have here you could imagine that's a, a sample bus route and you could have any number of coordinates here I have coordinates in column A uh, which is actually separated by comma now you could either have them uh, like this or uh, of course you could have latitudes and uh, longitudes of the coordinates separately um, like column B or C so in either way that you have your data of course it works and we're gonna go and look at have a look at this to see how to do this step by step so in a step one uh, you have your initial settings and this is by the way the all solution and explanation step by step are available in description in our web website so the first step is we want to essentially connect um, this uh, piece of code to the place where your data exists now my data in this case are in a google sheet and i'm gonna just connect this um, code platform to google sheet and of course uh, what we're using here is google collab and if you're interested on information on what's google collab and how to run python using this and it's a standalone platform you don't need to run or install any additional um, program in your computer have a look at the relevant link in the description i have some information there and also some more detail on how to connect to google sheet or other python tutorials that are available in the code sample you're able to see so essentially we want to run the first block and once you run this they're going you're gonna see a pop-up window that asks to connect this piece of code to your google uh, account uh, where in this case my Google Sheet exists now of course if your data exists in another power approach you could you could um, of course customize that first uh, piece to connect to your data the far the piece that you want to focus here is the required package that you have here is the main one is folium and we want to actually use uh, its capability and uh, at the end of the video I will show you the other customization that you could use and uh, go ahead with that now the second step is we want to read our coordinate and input our data which again in this case it's a spreadsheet is a worksheet that is named like that I simply read it from Google sheet and now at the at now my data exists in a data frame called data now step three is uh, we want to initialize the roadmap so you want to what is your starting coordinate in this case it's my starting coordinate I uh, put that in the location and I provide a zoom level to start so in the first what's the zoom level that you want to have and you can play uh, with that number here I have 13 you can play to see what's the eventual output but essentially what we're uh, we are initializing an object called M which is that is essentially going to be our map visualization and so far we're giving a starting coordinate to this um, object next uh, what we're gonna do step four is we're gonna um, essentially introduce um, the coordinates latitude and longitudes as to a list a latitude list and longitude list now if you have the the data in uh, in such that your latitude and longitudes are comma separated um, then you can use the first two lines in here where uh, we separate them from the coordinates column and we separate them in two lists or uh, you could have in the last two lines you could have if you have them separately as two columns then you could um, just uh, run them and in that case it gives you two lists uh, one list for latitudes one list for longitudes and we are going to play with them in next next step step five is actually the main uh, part where uh, first we start to actually read the points we go over the list of latitudes and longitudes and we add them as a point object and we append them so now so far we have our 
um, points all uh, read from the coordinates and the last part is essentially connecting those points together and connecting it to the initial point that we had the object M and um, have some customization in terms of what elements what icon you want to use in those um, points so here I, I use the icon bus station um, and uh, you could play around or I, uh, you could uh, essentially um, customize what could be the pattern for the lines that connect the points what could be the color for the icon the color for the line and all those specializations so I'm gonna run this first and show you what's the result could be and then uh, at the end we're gonna look at uh, different ways and the documentation for you to be able to customize and how um, your visual however you want with uh, different colors different shape different elements uh, based on your coordinates and road roadmap so what we're gonna do we're gonna we have our points now we want to run the folium maker function and have those um, customization on essentially uh, also what text you want to have in the pop-up uh, elements when you go over and here uh, we're gonna see uh, the websites where you could actually go and uh, search for different icons that you may want to have in, in your points here I use the example of bus bus station so uh, this is the website that you want to go and also I have this website here you can see highlighted in the, in there but I also have it a step by step in uh, more clarification in in a now blog in the link in the description you can have a look essentially you can go here and search for different icons and here this is the example of the boss that if you search and click in either of the icons you're gonna see the name of that icon what you're gonna do next is grab that name here the name is essentially fa dash boss that's the name that I care about here I understand okay that's the icon that I want and then as you can see for is the fa is the prefix and icon name was boss I put it there so that that was the resource uh, for you to have a look and uh, find the icon that you're interested and there you go now the last step here step six is actually connect everything together and connect it to our initial point and add a couple of other customization now here this is the section actually we have the color for our um, connected lines and we actually I have to correct myself this is the part that actually we specify whether the line that we want to connect this different points and uh, bus transit uh, stations in the in this case together whether you want it to be dash or not and um, what's the type of uh, dash line you want to have the dash array does that and you can specify the opacity as well so I, I run it and essentially that's what I get so all the colors the co and the dash points and everything is based on the customization that I made and the coordinates are based on the coordinates that I gave in the initial data and everything is going to be saved in the tool which is M um, as being the object M and it's going to be an interactive um, visual that you could have and you could import it in whatever your final output may be hope I hope that this tutorial so far has been helpful next I want to actually um, go over and um, also provide the last documentation in terms of um, looking at the folium library documentation where you can go and have a look at different functions that are exist here in this example I use the function polyline at the end to create the connection of lines between um, between points so you could see the example of where different options for this uh, function what they are and uh, the explanation for them and if you could uh, have a look play around and based on your final need and final visual choose the uh, customization that you want and customize the code that you see here uh, I'm gonna provide the, this piece of code everything is available for you to download it's going to be in the link in the description where I provide also a step-by-step -step clarification hopefully this has been helpful for you and um, if you're interested in more um, similar videos such as this in data tech solution with uh, any data background any tech background please consider subscribing thank you see you next video